Hello guys, my name is Marco Saboya and welcome to Guitar and Coffee Show. In this video, let's jump into some iconic riffs of the legend Jimi Hendrix. Let's check the minimum gear, set up the amplifier and of course, learn how to play. All the tabs, backing tracks and a lot of cool stuff will be available on my Patreon page. You can find the link down below in the description along with the timestamps and a lot of nice links. If you like my videos, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. This is the best way you can show some support to this channel. So for all the riffs, we are going to use this guitar. This guitar is a Strat model. You don't need to get a Fender or any expensive guitar. The important thing is single coil pickups. Okay, here we, we get three single coil pickups and this is more than enough for what we need, okay? All the riffs are going into this Marshall DSL 100 and some riffs will be over an overdrive pedal. You can get any overdrive pedal. Some of the riffs are going into a fuzz pedal. You can get any fuzz pedal you like. And for one riff, we are going to use Wawa. And my Wawa is a crybaby, but you can get Vox crybaby or any other Wawa you like, all right? Before we play our first riff, it's time to set up our amplifier. And let's try to do exactly what Jimi Hendrix used to do, okay? Bass and middle will be very high, like around three o'clock. But treble will be very low. So let's set around nine o'clock, okay? Resonance will be also not too high, around 11 o'clock and presents will be a bit higher around one o'clock. Let's use a little bit of reverb, okay? We are going to use half of the way. Half of the way for the reverb is more than enough. We are using the clean sound because we are adding the overdrive, okay? We are compensating the very low level of treble. Here is the tone of the overdrive pedal. We are going around two o'clock with the tone, around two, between two and one o'clock with the drive and the level you need to match with your clean sound. I would go a bit higher because when your gig is playing with drive means that everybody's really playing hard. So I would go a bit higher than the clean sound. <laughs> This riff is so iconic and feels so nice to play. It starts on the E string fret number six and it's active on the fret number eight D string. So we play four times. Then the second part of the riff, we play twice. We come sliding on the D string till the fret number nine, on the G string, fret number seven, B string, fret number eight. Here we give a quarter step bend. It's going to be. And then we come back to the fret number seven, D string. Then, Fret number five, D string. Fret number five, A string. Then E string. And sliding from five to seven, A string. Once again, the same riff. Uh, 
Then we go on the A string, fret number seven. On the G string, fret number five. And then D string, fret number seven. Then a bend, half step bend coming back to the start position. D string, fret number five. E string, fret number five. Then E string. E string, fret number three. this part again. Then the last part of this riff starts exactly the same the part number three. Then we come sliding to the fret number nine on the D string, fret number seven G string twice Actually, three times. Again, this part number four. Then the verse is gonna be that Jimi Hendrix chord E major, but taking here the minor third, so then G and A. Let's play the full riff slowly. For fire, we are using the same setup for the overdrive and for the amp. But instead to use the bridge pickup, let's use the neck pickup. Check it out. Easy. It's gonna be fret number six D string and ex octave fret number nine B string. So from six and nine to five and eight, then we have on this slide from three D string six B string coming back to. 5 D string, 8 B string. Then we go to string A, fret number 5, string G, fret number 7. Two times. Slowly again. Then 
Then we go to the riff of the verse. It's gonna be D string fret number seven, G string fret number five, G string fret number seven. So it's easy, right? So let's play the full riff with the verse slowly. To get the tone of Foxy Lady, it's time to switch off the overdrive pedal and switch on the fuzz pedal. This is a Big Muff Pie by Electro Harmonics. A bit noisy for my strut, I confess, but it's a great pedal, okay? I'm using here the volume around one o'clock, the tone around nine o'clock. I know it's a bit high and the sustain maybe in your pedal can be fuzz or distortion. It's around 11 o'clock. The setup in the amplifier is still the same. All right, now let's check how to play this riff. Okay, to start this riff, you take the G and B strings on the 16th fret and you just shake your left hand. And I would recommend you to mute the other strings, the upper strings with your right hand. Then you're going to slide from 14 to two on the E string and then you have two notes on the fret number two E string. Then you have this double stop here and it's gonna be on the B string fret number five, on the E high string fret number five. Jimi Hendrix wouldn't play like that, Jimi Hendrix would use his thumb. But you know, my hand is very small, so I go like this. The second part of this chunk of the riff, it's almost the same, but using the octave of F sharp. So it's going to be D string, fret number four. Then again, F sharp on the E string, fret number two. But then we don't go to the double stop. We just, let me play for you so you're going to understand. Again. Then we are going to use the blue note, a part of the scale, the pentatonic scale of F sharp starting on A. So it's going to be five on the E string, on the A string, two, three, four. When we are executing for the second time, this chunk of the riff, there is a slight difference. Okay, let me play for you. Got it? 
So it's gonna be same, twice F sharp E string fret number two, then the double stop, octave, then we go second fret D string, fret number four A string, fret number two E string, and double stop. And then that part of the pentatonic scale of F sharp, minor F sharp. For Voodoo Child, let's keep the amp as is, but the overdrive pedal, we are coming from this level, around 1 to 2 o'clock, and getting lower, putting around 10 to 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock would be the maximum. This is very important to get the tone. A second very good tip about this riff is, Jimi Hendrix used to play very loose and very relaxed this riff. So don't try to be perfect. Don't try to be so precise. Let the vibe of the riff comes to you. <laughs> All right, this beautiful and powerful brief is simple and it's going to be almost the same four times. Only the last time is gonna change just a little bit in the end, okay? Of course, before the riff, you put your wah-wah in action and you're going to be like. All right, and then let's divide the phrase in two. So the first part is gonna be Alligato from 7 to 9 on the G string, then 7 on the G string, 9 on the D string, and 7 on the G string. Then you come to fret number 5 on the D string, then you come to 5 on the D string and you play twice. Then Alligato to 7 on the D string, coming back to 5 on the D string. Then 7 on the A string, Alligato to 5. And then you just let just a little bit the string A to sound. Then the last part is going to be nine on the G string, seven on the G string, 9 on the D string, then Alligato from 7 to 9 and a very beautiful vibrato. So very slowly all the riff.
Then the last part is a bit different. So it's gonna be 10 on the B string with a full step bend. Coming back to eight B string, nine G string. Another important thing is Normally, you're going to listen to Jimi Hendrix playing half step back on the tuning, okay? So it's going to be E flat. But here, as most of the people, especially beginners, they start playing on the standard tuning, let's keep like that. I'm so happy playing some Jimi Hendrix. I wish I could have time to give you all the riffs I know. But for now, that's so beautiful, people. If you like this video, smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you!